Hello. Since we will be moving to Ulti Pro in March, we thought we could give you a little introduction for when you first get into the system, a sort of getting started tutorial. In the email we have sent you, there is a link to the website. It will bring you to the login page shown in the picture here. For logging in, your username is your work email, and your password is your date of birth in the format shown below. It should be eight digits, no spaces, no slashes. If you have any trouble getting in, please contact me. Once you do get in, you will see your home page, which is shown here. There is some general information as well as some instructions on how to get set up. In the middle, where it says Welcome to UltiPro, is the same information that I will be going over now. But if you prefer to go at your own pace, it is on your home page. Update your favorites will walk you through customizing your menu for ease of navigation. Clicking into the menu, this is where it will show you what you're able to do. I would like to start by bringing you to the Myself tab, then under Personal, please click Name, Address, and Telephone. Here is where your personal information is. Take a moment to go over it all and make sure it is correct. If it is wrong or if there is missing information, in the upper right corner, there is a button to Edit. When editing, you may notice a field that is called Preferred Name. If you prefer to go by a middle name or a nickname, you can put it here so that it will not mess up your legal name, but still let you have the name you want to go by. Your work phone and email should already be in the system, but we might not have your personal number or email. If you could, please put that in as well as we would like to have it in case of emergency. Moving to the Contacts tab, this is where all your contacts will be. Emergency contacts, beneficiaries, and dependents. Make sure they are in here. If they aren't, click on the green button to add them. Please have at least one emergency contact in case of emergency and one beneficiary for the employer paid life. Moving back to the menu, if you go under pay and click on direct deposit, it will bring you to a page similar to the contacts. Click check to make sure that your direct deposit information is correct or there. If it is not there or if it is incorrect, you can edit it or add a new account. To make sure your tax withholdings are correct, you will want to go to Income Tax. You can either go through the menu, as shown here, or if you are in the Direct Deposits page, there is a tab that says Income Ta Tax right next to it. So here there should be a summary of your taxes. Please make sure all the information is correct. If there is something incorrect, you can go to the right under Things I Can Do and click on Add slash Change Withholding Form W4. From here, you will be shown three forms. You will probably want to click on the top one, but if you would prefer to fill out the form in Spanish, that, that is the second one. This is a simple form. Just fill out the information correctly and then click Next on the upper right corner. Here it will show you what your W-4 form looks like. Take a moment to read it over and make sure it is correct. If you are satisfied with it, you can check on the checkbox and then click Sign and Save. You will be brought back to the page to look over your withholdings please make sure you go over and make sure your state and local taxes are correct as well. We do have a mobile app. It is free to download no matter what phone you have. From here, you can see your information and make time off requests. Please don't be alarmed if you go in now and see that you don't have any sick or vacation time. We are currently working on it and, it, and we'll keep you updated when it is up. And we'll have a walkthrough as well on how to make the time off requests. There is also a directory in the middle where you can search for any employee and get their email and their extension for quicker navigation. You may notice in the mobile app that there is a button for time clocking and time sheets. You can edit this to remove it as you will not have a time sheet, so you will likely only get an error message. We have decided that badge swipes will not be imported into the system and there will be more information to come on this. This presentation is focusing on the core but we will still have more to roll out to you as we get further into it. Time off request should be up very soon and we will let you know when it is up, like I said before, and give you a quick walkthrough on how to use it. We would like you to understand that UltiPro will be replacing both ADP and Kronos, so keep that in mind when familiarizing yourself with the system. Benefits will be up slightly later, and again, we will walk you through signing up for benefits and changing information. Performance reviews will also be something we're moving to UltiPro. It will make the whole process smoother. Please understand that since we are still working on the system, it won't be perfect right away. Don't panic if something isn't working the way it should be. Just please let us know so we are aware of the problem. Once we get all the kinks worked out, it will make our lives easier, it will make your lives easier. So I'm really excited to get you all in. So thank you for sitting through my presentation. This is just a getting you started. 
so I understand you might have more questions. Please don't hesitate to contact us here in HR if you do. We are happy to help.